Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's recipe idea, I'm gonna show you how to make a super delicious moussaka. We have just come back from Cyprus and I ate so much moussaka while I was out there that it inspired me to come home and make my own. And I thought I would share my recipe with you guys. If you're watching this video and you're new here, then I would love for you to subscribe. Every Sunday I post a brand new meal idea on my channel. So if you like this kind of thing and need a bit of like food inspiration, then click that subscribe button down below. So the ingredients you're going to need for this moussaka are lamb mint, a lamb stock cube, an onion, two cloves of garlic, some chopped tomatoes, some butter, some flour, some milk to make your bechamel sauce, and you're also going to need an aubergine and some potatoes as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to get your pan nice and hot and put a little bit of oil in there. Once that's nice and hot, you want to fry off your onions to caramelize them a little bit. And then once they have fried off a little, you want to add in your minced meat and your minced garlic as well. While you're doing this, you want to preheat your oven to 150 degrees centigrade, and you're gonna cook this on a really low heat for a really long time. That is how you're going to get your aubergine and your potatoes lovely and soft. You can, if you want to, cook your aubergine, like fry it in some oil to soften it to begin with. But I find if you slice it nice and thinly and cook it low and a long time, it works just as well. And in my opinion, it's even nicer. And the good thing about this meal is while you're waiting for something to cook, you can start another part of the meal as well. So I'm gonna be starting my bechamel sauce while I'm cooking out my mince mix. It just makes the whole process a lot quicker. Right, so to make your bechamel sauce, you want to get a nice scoop of butter pop it in your pan and melt it down. I think the more bechamel sauce you have in this dish, the nicer it is, because essentially this is where the liquid is coming from to cook your potatoes and your aubergine. You will also get some from the meat as well, but this is where the nice creaminess comes from. Right, so once your butter has melted, you then want to get your flour. You can do plain or self-raising flour. It doesn't really make a difference, to be honest and then you want to add it in quite slowly. The reason you want to do this is because you want to kind of add it in and then give it a little mix around until it becomes like a little ball of dough almost. So that's a really good consistency now. You then want to start adding in your milk, a little bit at a time and just keep whisking. If you're worried about your bechamel sauce being lumpy, then don't worry. If you just keep whisking, keep whisking, keep whisking, eventually the kind of flour and butter mix will all melt down and it will become a really nice lump-free sauce. Every time your sauce becomes thicker, then you'd want to add a little bit more milk and then just keep on whisking. Right, so my onions are now ready. So I'm gonna go in with my mince. I have got 500 grams of mince here and I break it up as I put it in. Right, while your mince is browning off, I'm gonna slice up my aubergine and my potatoes. I'm gonna keep the skin on my potatoes because that's where all the nutrients are and it's a lot. When you slice up your aubergine and your potatoes, you want to do them quite finely because if you don't do that, then you're not going to get them to cook through thoroughly when you put them in the oven. So as you can see, these are just a couple of mil thick. Right, so my mince is nice and brown now, so I'm gonna add in my two <laughs> I'm gonna add in my two cloves of garlic now. <laughs> I'm also going to add in my chopped tomatoes and my lamb stock cube. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in too. Right, that is now ready to just simmer away and take on all those really nice flavors. My bechamel sauce is looking good, lump free. What I'm gonna do in here is actually add a little bit of cane pepper. It just gives the bechamel sauce a little bit of a kind of nice kick to it. It just adds a little bit of something to your moussaka. Once everything's cooked through, it's then time to start layering it. I always start off with some white sauce first. Then I'll go in with a layer of potatoes. Then I'm gonna pop some mints on top. And then I'm going to put the aubergine on top of that. And then you just keep repeating the process until you've used up all of your ingredients. Right, lastly, because you guys know how much I love cheese, I am going to finish this off with some grated cheese along the top. This is definitely a necessary part of this dish because I find the cheesier the better, so make it a really, really good, nice layer on the top. Right, that is completely ready to go into the oven. So I'm gonna pop it in, like I said, on 150 for about an hour and a half, and then when it comes out, it's gonna be 
And after an hour and a half in the oven, that's your moussaka done. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.